Hello class, welcome back to our math lessons. Today we're going to be doing some subtracting and subtracting is taking away. Hmm, look at the trees behind me. Something has been taken away from all of them. Do you see what it is? It's the leaves. Oh, it's autumn and so all the leaves have fallen. They've been taken away. The ground is really crunchy though because all of the leaves are on the ground. Well today we're going to be doing some taking away and we're going to be taking one away each time. We're going to be subtracting by one and I think we should start off with our facts. Are you ready? One, take away one is nothing. It's zero. Two, take away one is one. Three, take away one is two. Four, take away one is three. Five, take away one is four. Six, take away one is five. Seven, take away one is six. Eight, take away one is seven. Nine, take away one is eight. <gasps> And our last one, 10, take away one is nine. Did you notice something? Every time we took one away, it was just the number that comes that we count right before it. So 10 take away one is nine, and nine is the number that comes right before 10. Hmm. Or one take away one is zero. It's just the number that comes right before one. Two take away one is one. It's just the number that comes before one. Hmm. Every single time. I think that this is going to be pretty easy for us to understand and remember. Let's take a closer look at this. Class, when I went on my walk, I found ten sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have 10 here. If I take away or subtract one stick, how many will I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 take away one is nine. Well, what if I have nine and I take away one? How many will I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, take away one is eight. Now I have eight. And if I take one away, how many do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, take away one or subtract one is seven. I have seven and I'm gonna take one away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take away one is six. Now I have six sticks and I'm gonna take one away. Six, take one away is five. Five, take one away or subtract one. Count how many I have left. There are four. Now, if I have four and I take one away, how many do I have left? Three, four, subtract one, and there's three. Now I have three and I'm gonna take away the big one. How many do I have left? Two, three, take away one is two. Now I have two and I'm going to take one away. Two, take away one, is one. Now I only have one stick left. And if I take that one away, how many do I have left? <laughs> Zero, there's not any left. I would like for you to practice with your math facts today. Friends, did you notice that when we subtracted one, we kept going back 
one jump on our number line. If we have seven and we subtract one, the answer would be six. If we have six and we subtract one, our answer would be five. There's a pattern. If we have four and we subtract one, the answer is three. It is always the counting number before on the number line. Were you able to notice the subtracting pattern? When we subtract by one, our answer is always the counting number right before the number we're subtracting from. If we're subtracting one from 10, the answer is nine. And that's the number that comes right before 10. If we're subtracting from one from seven, the answer will be six because six is the counting number right before seven. Hmm. Let's go over our math facts really, really quickly. One minus one is zero. Two minus one is one. Three minus one is two. Four minus one is three. Five minus one is four. Six minus one is five. Seven minus one is six. Eight minus one is seven. Nine minus one is eight. And 10 minus one is nine. I know that you saw the pattern and I bet that you understand. And now we just need to remember our facts. I hope that you get a chance to review your math facts today and even play with some subtracting. I hope that you have a wonderful day class. Bye-bye.